So the crypto market dips again, another crypto winter. We are just hovering around the 2 trillion mark. The whole cryptocurrency market cap is hovering around the 2 trillion mark. We have had worse in recent times where we dropped to 1.8 trillion. Right now we're still around the 2 trillion mark. So we are kind of holding, all right, altcoins contributing for over 1 trillion. That's great because Bitcoin is sitting at um, a market cap of around $830 billion. So the altcoins are holding their own. There are a few of the unknowns that are doing well. Most of the top 10 top 20 top 100 they are bleeding badly only bnb two and a half percent increase over the last 24 hours so but majority of them are bleeding badly so have you been taking advantage of this downtrend this dip this mini crypto winter i call it mini because crypto will never dip forever i don't think if it does my apologies guys this is fd for sage5.tv once more back with another video today we are going to share with you what we've been up to with regards to additions to our portfolio and which projects we've dropped or exited to try and boost our positions in other areas and whether we have also added new positions or new projects completely that's what we're going to look at today guys what i'm sharing with you here today is not financial advice these are my own opinions please take them for what they are if you do require financial advice i urge you to go and seek a professional financial advisor who is trying to give you financial advice i'm just some dude on the internet anyway so today like i said we're going to look at uh, what we've been up to as far as this latest crypto dip is concerned we've exited one or two positions and we have also added two or three positions that's what i'm going to share with you today and some of these could be worth your while consider them do your own research and see if you can make a decision at the end if you can actually go in and invest yourself or it's not something for you and you move on again guys do your own research so like i said another crypto winter more must panic from the crypto community if you're new to crypto this will scare the hell out of you you'll be scared like crazy but this is normal in fact in crypto this percentage drops your seeing they're quite normal they define a bull run some people who know how to trade which i don't urge anyone to trade because if you don't know what you're doing trading could wreck your portfolio full stop so if you don't understand trading just don't go into it so this panic is it justified well it depends on your risk ratio and whether you believe in the project you have sunk your cash into for us here at set5.tv this is just part and parcel of daily and weekly swings of the crypto market markets go up and markets go down that's our motto no need to panic unless you join this space not fully aware of what you are getting yourself into now for some of the projects we've been positioning ourselves into and how firstly let's look at the projects we have exited from fully or in part the first one is Coty. if i'm to be honest with you Coty is an average project the numbers don't lie we invested in Coty uh, sometime in early 2021 i think it was around january ever since then it seems the corporatism seems to have been the only thing on offer from these guys it's all about corporate maneuvers and corporate pr and so forth for is just non-stop some of the collaborations if they brought something yeah you could turn around and say it's too early but come on this has been going on for over 12 months if you've got productive collaborations they should start paying off by now unless the project team themselves are benefiting from the collaborations but not the investor the one thing that most of us myself included you know that most of us uh, assumed was going to be the much needed shot in the arm tend to be nothing well it's probably nothing right most people thought that with Coty being assigned the task of developing and implementing the jet stablecoin on the cardano blockchain Coty would see more or less the same action as luna no way that never happened these two projects can't be any different the Coty token has no relationship whatsoever to the jet stablecoin instead there is a new token that is going to be introduced called shen s-h-e-n that is the one that will be the beneficiary of the cardano stablecoin jet and from what we understand as well shen will initially be restricted to professional entities we know what that means right lining the pockets of those who are already rich fair enough they've probably ended that's up to court to decide that for the wider community you wait for second best you wait to pump the bags of those who initially invest in this project share anyway we exited 50 percent of our court position to provide some firepower to get into other interesting and more promising projects that i'll cover below once again this may turn out to be an ill-advised move but that was our decision guys this is not financial advice these are my own opinions and i'm making my own decisions okay the next project we exited was rune thor chain 
token name rune while this appeared to still have more legs to run higher our position which was opened around the four dollar mark in late february had already doubled by that point so it was just a logical move to you know close that position and take our winnings in addition our commitment to rune was moderate it wasn't that strong it was just looking at the trend the trend was pointing upwards so there are other strong layer ones to torch and offering the same value proposition so we have switched our tact and we've gone somewhere else we may end up jumping back into torching but for now adios more firepower then alongside new money we went hunting so here are a few projects we jumped into affinity ticker symbol efi fe developed by engine affinity is described as the world is cross-chain nft blockchain the project integrates a deflationary mechanism within its tokenomics that's great we love that on the engine side the the affinity project uses the jump net which makes it more efficient to use in terms of transaction costs the network is environmentally friendly it's scalable it's built for games applications it's for enterprises and creators alike and it's aiming to deliver their own non-fungible tokens to mainstream audiences so these are enterprises and creators who are aiming to deliver their own non-fungible tokens to mainstream audiences i've been playing around with fe or efi quite a nice experience the affinity network will reside on the polkadot network not that it will matter because it's designed to be interoperable that is an excellent feature our position in fe or affinity is approximately 25 percent of what we aim to accumulate so more dollar cost averaging for us that's the dca for those who are familiar with the acronyms we'll be dcaing into affinity for over the next few months to get to 100 percent so we still have 75 percent of our firepower to deploy into affinity affinity's current market cap is approximately 73 million fully diluted market cap is around 861 million maximum tokens 2 billion current prices fluctuating between 43 cents and 60 cents guys all this information might change because by the time you watch this video things will have changed considerably so just bear that in mind the next project we have delved into is bimswap ticker symbol glint g-l-i-n-t bimswap is a DeFi hub and the first decentralized exchange or dex with an automated market maker amm providing liquidity and peer-to-peer -peer transactions built on the moonbeam network for an overview of the moonbeam network please watch our video links are down below in the description once you're down there guys don't forget to click like and subscribe as well as smash that notification Bell. subscribing guys it's free even if you subscribe and never come back i will still appreciate your contribution and thank you for your efforts many thanks in advance if you recall as well bimswap was one of the top 10 dubs on the moonbeam network that we covered when we covered the moonbeam top 10 dubs and if you remember back then it occupied position number two with 29.5 million dollars in tvl or total value lot its own price has been on the slide along with the rest of the crypto market it is my belief that as and when when the bull run resumes this little project here shall bring some exciting times to those who dare invest during these treacherous times it's quite challenging when you see your investment going down but this is when huge gains are made our position in beam swap is approximately 75 percent yes we've been gobbling beam swap up big time as we believe it is on a sale massively current market cap for beam swap is one and a half million dollars fully diluted market cap is 17 million dollars so extremely risky and very small more market cap maximum tokens three billion current prices fluctuating between half a cent and six tenths of a cent so it is massively on sale if you have done your own research and you believe this project is what a future this is on sale the decision is yours the third and final project we went into afresh and from scratch is animal concerts animal concerts claims to be rebuilding the next generation of live events in the metaverse animal concerts streams interactive metaverse concerts in enabling established and emerging artists to deliver amazing next generation fan experiences our opening position is approximately 90 percent of where we would want to be still a relatively pro a risky project but we feel the risk reward ratio is a positive one again guys this is not financial advice do your own research current market cap for animal concerts 5 million maximum tokens 12 and a half billion current prices fluctuating between two cents and three cents again we believe this is on sale because some of the things these guys are proposing they seem to be quite tangible and achievable and we think the project has got plenty of traction then on top of that we've had other projects that we already had positions in but we're adding to our bags that includes remark star atlas and my meta nfts my meta nft i think is one project we will want to do some
some deep dive into this project because we think it's got some legs to run so watch this space anyway guys those were my thoughts what do you think about the projects we are diving into affinity beam swap and animal concerts comments down below do you have positions already in these three projects if you do are you adding on to your positions or you're exiting do you think any of these three projects is going to have a fantastic future or you have your doubts please comments down below this is not financial advice these are my own opinions please do your own research before you invest in any of these projects don't forget we do run some giveaways these are genuine giveaways we don't ask you to give us any assets or give us your seed trades no we don't ask for anything like that if you do follow us on twitter you will learn about the rules of the game on how to play and then if you are lucky to be a chosen winner all we ever ask is a compatible wallet whether it's bitcoin or cardano or dot or ethereum we try and stay away from it because some of the prices we give it might end up being 50 percent of your winnings going towards transaction fees so we don't do that whereas the other altcoins including bitcoin as well we tend to pay the transaction fees ourselves you get your winnings in full if you do prefer ethereum you pay your on transaction fees anyway guys that was it for today this is fd for sagevibe.tv signing out today until next time guys thank you very much and bye